Oh, guys, this night is definitely one of the craziest. DOA got arrested, Laura and Danny got shoved by an officer, and somehow Zachary seems to be involved too. Tonight's action against DOA was a setup, I have no doubt about that. Coster wants to see DOA in jail, I have no doubt. The LAPD will gladly go along with it, I have no doubt. Is Scientology behind this action? I have no doubt. But Coster will lose in the long run, I have no doubt about that either. Here, hopefully you're not drinking the Fallen Grape wine. The Fallen Grape wine is from Danny Masterson's. Cue the Hotel California. Of content creation. And it's a public sidewalk. And I have every right to speak my mind on the public sidewalk. Just like they have every right to play Amplified Hotel California over and over and over again, it's annoying as hell, just like me. Annoying as hell. But annoying as hell is not illegal. Period. Period, end of story. Tequila Sunrise, also copyrighted, but if you make noise over it, you can't be heard. And so the copyright doesn't affect the live stream. Hello? Uh, someone is um, using an app on the computer to call you and then to call me and then put me on three-way. This is the sixth time this has happened in three days. Okay, uh, let me turn to the old to help you. I'm gonna go. All right, thank you. If you like the video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Please hold for the next available police representative. We are ready to provide an estimated time until your call is in. And it hung up. This scene gets really interesting. DOA has been at La Poubelle for just under an hour, and Francoise Coster arrives in her car. In front of DOA is a car belonging to an employee who has to come out so that Coster can park right in front of DOA. This is a nice preparation for what is to come. Because Coster will not leave her car for the next hour. This stage scene is just disgusting. I think she's going to claim that she's afraid to leave her car. But let's not forget that DOA was there first and Francoise instructed her co-worker to drive away from there so she could park right in front of DOA. What a setup. But DOA is not stupid. He is a professional and just stays in his van and films the event. He's still alone at La Poubelle restaurant, but he won't be for long. As always, the chat is the best help and informs the other streamers. No, we gotta, we gotta address. We're gonna address the issues. And, and Zach's now starting to spread all the, um, In Francois. How the f did she get to drive around without a license plate? How, do you, how are you allowed to drive around without plates? I'm not saying anything to her. I'm just gonna keep the camera exactly where it was before she showed up. Bull bait. She wants me to come and yell at her or say something to her. So I'm not gonna give it to her. I'm just gonna sit right here. I'm a fucking professional, Francois. A fucking professional. All right, everyone just relax. It's her, I saw her face.
After DOA does not respond as requested, apparently a 5150 is reported for him. His mental health is called into question. This is dangerous if not used for the right reasons. Let me remind you that DOA is fighting Coster in court right now, and she is likely to lose the anti-slap suit. This will be very expensive for Coster because she will have to pay the lawyer's fees. D a mental health check, are you sure? What do you mean that's what it sounds like? They're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to do a 5150? All right, here we go. Yeah, a man, okay, a man in a multicolored, in a multicolored van. And Franklin in front of a business. Owner called. Okay, beautiful, cool. All right, thank you. EOA is convinced that these text messages are coming from Zachary. This is truly evil. Crazy is the wrong word, but it is crazy. Who does something like that? Yeah, and, and that's, it's, he says, really going to block me? That's some Scientologist activities. And then he was in, he's saying that Laura is my girlfriend, I guess. An LA Times journalist. And Zach thinks it was one of his friends or something. And that's why, uh, that's why he made that thing. I heard you are speaking to my friend from LA Times. So this is Zach. No, I know it's, Will, I know it's Zach. Cause I just blocked Zach's account. Zach, Zachary Elson, I blocked it. He messaged me and says you blocked it. Um, he thinks I'm talking to his LA Times friend. Here is one of my notes on a topic. I'll say it right up front. This is not drama. This is dangerous behavior, in my opinion, and I want to address that. I also want to say that I do not support bullying, and Zachary should be left alone. Also, I am commenting on a snippet of the whole story. Otherwise, this will be too long. Over the last few months, Zachary has repeatedly hinted that he had a relationship with Ever from Win LA without saying so directly. This was not the reality, and Zachary knew this because Ever told him. Not only that, but he posted this on his blog. Ever was very guarded and didn't want to talk about him and the situation she was in publicly. She thought she could work this out with Zachary alone. She specifically asked him to refrain from making these ambiguous comments. He didn't take that well and has been acting so extreme ever since. Above all, he endangers the movement and he endangers individuals. You can watch her statement yourself. Link to the video in my description. On May 19th, he was hiking and had a visit from the police. After asking an officer to put his camera back up, he brought up the subject of swatting. He said, they swatting me. The officer wanted to know who they were, and he named William, Jess, and DOA. Just my gear. Okay. They're swatting me. Who is they? My friends, uh, my former friends, uh, the man is, name is William Key, okay. and um, Scotty Hawk Center is just in Palm Modesto. Okay. So I'm live on YouTube right there, and that's how they're figuring out my location. Right here, and they're swatting me do, doing it. What was the call? Yeah, the gun. Man with the gun? Oh, we have the phone number, no name at this time. Yeah, so I got a serious problem. These guys are fucking after me. Okay, so LAPD is investigating them. So, I was just talking, right, because I'm figuring out that they're behind the swatting. And they swatted another protester last night, and today they're swatting me. So LAPD is investigating this. I really actually need police protection, to be honest, at this point, because they keep swatting me like this. And you can read my Substack. It's um, ZacharyEllison.substack.com, and you can uh, see that I covered the anti-Scientology protest. So they're swatting me in retaliation for it. He then claimed that these people were retaliating against him with a swatting action and that this had happened to another streamer the day before. Here he is talking about Daniel from Salem, 
who published this post on his community page. Daniel is of the opinion that Zachary made the call to the police to swat him. Zachary claims that the group won't let him go, and by swatting at Daniel, I think he's trying to prove his point. Anyone who no longer wants to be part of the protests against Scientology will be punished in his opinion. Total nonsense in my opinion. He apologized to DOA in another live stream for the accusation, which in my opinion has no merit. In my opinion, Zachary is acting manipulatively and strategically. What he does can land people in jail. That is dangerous. He claims in every other sentence that he is a journalist. A journalist who accuses other people without evidence is not a journalist. This person is evil. He has an agenda, in my opinion. Not from the beginning, but after ever made an announcement to him, he just causes stress and spreads lies. In the meantime, Aja has arrived at the restaurant and positions herself opposite Coster, watching her in the car. Then things move very quickly again. An hour after Coster arrives, the LAPD arrives and arrests DOA. At the same time, Coster gets out of her car and tries to play the victim. We will find out later that it was allegedly not Coster who called the LAPD. DOA allegedly interfered with Scientology's religious services across the street from the Celebrity Center. Therefore, a private person arrest was requested. Which is more likely, Coster or Scientology from across the street? It's okay, we're good. We're, don't touch me, don't, don't touch, touch me. me. Don't you touch me, don't, don't, don't touch me, don't touch me. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt I'm not you. I'm not touching anything. Ah, don't get close. I'm walking on my sidewalk, hey. buddy. I am walking on my sidewalk, buddy. Interesting, I didn't know it was hers. Pretty aggressive today, Francoise. I'm walking on my sidewalk, hey. buddy. Hey. Keep on walking, get inside. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm, so I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt you, ma'am. I know, ma'am, I'm not gonna hurt you. No, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you, ma'am. I was just filming them. When DOA is arrested, many streamers are already present and do what they always do. They film the proceedings and ask a lot of questions. DOA was taken out of his car and his live stream ended. Live streaming can annoy the officers, no question, but it shouldn't cause an officer to become aggressive. Police officers need to be trained to de-escalate and not escalate, but one officer flips out and gets physical with Laura and Danny. What's the serial number? Four four one. All right, thank you. Why are you arresting him, dude? Why are you arresting him, officer? That lady almost fucking hit me right now. Okay? She slapped my phone. And I'm, and I'm not filing any charges for her. Okay? I'm not filing any charges for her. Why are you taking him? He hasn't done anything wrong. He didn't do anything. Let's not forget that the LAPD did not execute a private person arrest in front of the La Poubelle for one of the assailants from the La Poubelle. Not one. Somewhere else. So, Danny. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up taking the car. But That's first fine, I gotta make here. the report. Yeah, I know. They brought uh, DOA to the Hollywood station to the for a private person's arrest. We know DOA, he wants to run it through. He's gonna fucking file everything that happens. What happened to you? I was over there. No, he shoved me and Danny like crazy. And we were already at the like, sidewalk. we were literally like fucking terrorists, he's shoving us fucking off, like push the air out of my chest. Idiot, you fucking idiot. Your ego is insane.
Your ego alone should not be on the force. You are the worst person to show up at any fucking situation. One's in the van? Yeah. Yeah. But you, there's, there's right there. No driving with no lights in the front. And the Guys, uh, where's his phone? That is illegal. Anybody else, me, if I drive like that, you guys will no, stop me. No, no, no. In a heartbeat. No, driving it though. Huh? No, driving it. Yeah, so the owner, the car is still on. The owner. She just got out the car. Can you guys hear us? Can you call you here? No, we're here for something else. No, we're here. I don't know. I heard his phone. I'm listening. I'm watching. Can you guys, uh, do you guys see the phone anywhere? Can you guys hear it? Someone grabbed it? Ah, uh, his phone. You, you grabbed his phone? You have his phone. How did you get it? On the other side. He showed us the trick. <laughs> we got the phone. We already have it. Get inside and leave. You were already told to leave. Yeah, follow your orders. Get out of here, little pig. Little pig, go. Get out of here. Get, get, get. Hey, you yeah, know? they thought this was funny. You thought this was funny, Francois? She tried to call. Oh, he's harassing me. Oh, That's she what she called. Yeah, yeah. She was, yeah, she right was here. Fucking... Right here. All these cops wasting all their fucking time. Talk to me real quick? Sure. What's your serial number? 44215. 44 what? 215. Lara was very successful in collecting the serial numbers, and I present to you the cops of the Hollywood division. Hey, can you do me a favor and check if you already have a subscription? My stats have shown me that more than 40% of my viewers have not subscribed. Without a subscription, you might miss the next video. You wanted to speak with the supervisor? I want to know what the PPA okay. report was about. Okay. What was it about? So he's being arrested for disturbing a religious service private person's arrest mm. wait yeah. what religious services church scientology had a so celebrity service. center you're talking about celebrity center right here oh. not the blue building you're talking about right now yeah, right, right tonight there, right there. at this time every sentence. hold on i need this for actual evidence and results okay so for celebrity center to they called a, a religious Mm -hmm. saying they disturb a religious mass, I'm assuming, yep. at this time of night, right? Yep. So this just happened. Yes. And that's why they were arresting him for the megaphone? Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? Yep, disturbing Pointing. a religious okay. service, yes. Okay, so we all got that. And so they're going to release him, obviously. Yes, and private person yeah, arrest. Yeah, 100%. Release, yeah, 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 we know about it. But that's actually the thing, guys. So we're here at La Poubelle, all right? We're here at La Poubelle. Lara explains in detail the background for the protester against Scientology in La Poubelle. I doubt this will have any effect on any of these cops. They have all been involved in previous arrests, and we know how the Hollywood division feels about Scientology. Then the complaints against Officer Salvador Chavez are taken up by Laura and Danny. This isn't your job to tell me to shut my mouth. What's His job is to be there to make us all feel safer and everything a little calmer. He did the exact opposite. I, I get it. I understand that. But also at the same time, you got to understand we're being. No. It feels like we're being attacked. I, so, no. This happened I, I after it. you guys no. already came in, got the hit, got. Okay. We'll, we'll review the footage. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll review, we will review yeah, the footage. I mean, if people are screaming and shouting at us, being coming aggressively. Nobody else did what he did. Nobody else. There was eight other police officers. Nobody else did exactly what he did. I'm just trying to explain. Everybody else just did arms and just said that, including him. Yeah. So. He was the only one, so I understand what you're explaining, but I don't need explanation. No, I just want to okay, sure I don't, I fucking saw it all. It's all my live stream. He was the only one who did three things aggressively that after we told him to stop doing it, he continued to do it. The only one, again, out of eight officers. Oh, one of the other things I want to file on that is when Scotty specifically said, Laura, take my phone. He went out of his way to be like, no, I'm, and who does that? No, you don't take somebody's private property and designate that you're going to take it away. He saw Scotty say, Laura, and so did Danny, and so did the whole live stream. And he chose to go out of his way after already assaulting us and then go out of his way to take his phone from where Scotty said, Laura, here, take it. Okay. And put it, do you know what I mean? That shit is not okay. You take somebody's private property after they're clearly saying, take this for my own safety. 
No, you don't touch another person's phone ever. Danny needed medical help because the whole situation was really stressing him out. He could no longer breathe. He had a panic attack. With all that Danny had already experienced with the LAPD, I'm not surprised that his body reacted to this situation the way it did. These are traumatic experiences. We're at home watching this on the screen while the protesters are having a hard time. I keep seeing comments about how the protesters are causing drama. All I can say to that is, shut up and switch off. Once again, the protesters stand behind DOA and drive to the Hollywood police station to support him. Many showed up, and like last time, the LAPD lowered the gate to keep the protesters out. The LAPD is so cowardly. They act like the streamers are dangerous with their cameras. It's so ridiculous. At some point, they join in a loud shout and let DOA know they are there. It doesn't take long, and he gets free. Now it's straight back to La Poubelle restaurant to show Coster. You can't chase us away. He's behind his wall. Yeah. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's go. Hold on. What's wrong? I was, yesterday I received a package. What is it? Like, it was a FedEx package within a UPS package, which was odd. And it was like crystal shards that kind of look like salt. Woo! So I like tasted it. What? You tasted a mystery crystal? Yes, yes, yes. And it yes. was like. Was it, it good? It was, I, I think it might have been matte. Oh no. And I threw it away. <laughs> and I was all I was thinking was like, man, they're trying to fucking set me up. Try to, did they tell you what I was in for? No. Yeah, disrupting religious services for Scientology. Yeah. yeah. Celebrity Center. Yeah, Celebrity Center. Yeah. And this, on that note, here's champagne. That's right. Are you hungry for anything? Do you want to go eat something? I shag that I shit. Here, shag two. it. We gotta go back to the Mm. Oh my God, I'm so glad you're out. We were, yeah. That's what I said. Let's go. That's what I said. Are you going to La Pavel? Let's go. Let's go. Going back to La Pavel.